Hi, I'm Chrissy from Flowcode. In this video, we'll walk through your Flowcode Pro account so you'll know exactly what features you have access to and how to manage, create, and organize your Flowcodes. When you log into your account, you'll land on the My Flowcodes page. Here, you'll find all the codes you've created and you can edit, download, print, and track your codes at any time. We'll review this in more detail later, but let's start by creating a code. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a blue button that says create a code. You can click here to start creating, or if you go to the left hand navigation, you can click the blue plus button and go to create a flow code. As a pro member, you have the ability to create one code or up to 50 codes at a time. To create multiple flow codes at once, click the button that says make many flow codes and follow the instructions on the screen. This will entail downloading a CSV template, entering the names of your flow code as well as the scan URLs, and then re-uploading the CSV and saving here. Automatically, you'll create 50 flow codes that look like the design that is shown here. If you have any trouble, you can go to the top navigation where it says learn more and go to bulk code creation. This will take you to the help center where you'll find many other helpful resources. For this, let's just create one flow code and let's name it so it's easy to find the My Flow Codes page. Next, choose your scan destination. This is where your flow code will go after somebody scans it. You can go to any valid URL, you can upload a document up to 20 megabytes, go to any of your social accounts, do a pre-filled text message or email, go to Wi-Fi, as well as many other scan destinations. On the top, you'll see you have the option to select more than one scan destination. This is another pro feature known as Smart Rules, where you can set certain conditions that change the scan destination based on the time of the day, the day of the week, or device type. For instance, if you're running a restaurant and you want your code to scan to a brunch menu from the hours of 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and then a dinner menu from the hours of 3 p.m. to 10 p.m., you can set those rules here. Again, if you have any questions, you can navigate to the top where it says learn more and go to set code rules to learn more about this feature. For now, we'll just choose one. Don't worry, all of your codes are dynamic, which means that you can update the scan destination and the design, and it will instantly change where the consumer lands without having to reprint or repost your codes. Next, move on to the design step. As a pro member, you get access to a custom artist design code. If you haven't requested your custom code design yet, you can do so in your account settings found in the upper right hand of this page or in the welcome email that you received when you first signed up for Pro. Once your custom design is complete, it will be placed in your account under the A Save Design section. You'll see mine is right here. Automatically, all of your codes will receive this design when you set it up. If you want to design your own flow code, no problem, we have lots of design options as well. Let's walk through some of those. First, you can utilize our auto design tool seen here. You have the ability to select up to three different colors and upload a center image. I'll choose black, red, and orange, and then upload my logo here. And then you'll see automatically I have six designs created for me. If you don't like any of the designs that it auto creates for you, simply press refresh and you'll get six new designs to review. Below that, you'll see a pre-made template design. Here, We'll put different codes made for different historical events, cultural events, seasons, as well as some of the most used scan destination icons. Below that, you'll see a section called a design I made from scratch. Here, you can choose the data pattern, one color, a style, either inverted or a darker color, as well as the logo, which I already have uploaded. Below that, you'll see two different ways to save this design. You can either create your flow code or create and download the flow code. If you choose to create and download, you'll see that you have four different options, a PNG, a JPEG, an SVG, or a PDF. Download, and that's it. Congratulations, you just created a flow code. You're now in the code management page for that specific code. There are a lot of actions that you can take on this page, but let's start with the basics. So next to your code, you'll see a box labeled code details. This includes the destination where your code scans to, the date that your code was created, 
the code link, which is the short URL associated with your code. Clicking on this link will take you to the same destination as if you were scanning the code, as well as an option to add to folders. So folders allows you to group codes together to keep them organized based on an event or maybe a marketing campaign. If you look along the top, you have a bunch more actions that you can take. So first download. Download just the code, just as another option of downloading your code as a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF, etc. Or you can put your code in one of our printable and digital templates. So you'll see along the top here we have different categories and then subcategories of different templates that we have available to you. If we go back and click on settings, you'll see one, you can edit the code design. This takes you back to the design step where you can use any of the design tools to edit your code. Make sure that you save your design changes and then you'll be taken back to the code management page here. If you used one of our design tools to design your code and you liked the design, you can save the code design and that way you can use it on further codes down the line. By duplicating your code, the duplicated version will have the same design and the same scan destination as your original code, but it will have a unique data pattern so you can set it apart from other codes. This could be really helpful in case you're running a marketing campaign and you want to put a unique code on your newspaper ad, your at-home mailer, as well as a flyer, and then measure which one had the most engagement so you know which one of your marketing campaigns was the most effective. Finally, you have the option to delete your code. Be careful if you delete a code that still exists on one of your marketing materials, all scans will automatically redirect to flowcode.com. The send button allows you to send your code to yourself or a friend. And then you have the option to print. So you can print it yourself, which will just let you print using your own at home printer, or you can get it printed, which will take you to our print store. You'll see we have a bunch of different formats and options of different prints that you can have delivered right to your door. You can also get to our print store right here at the blue box. If you want to change where your code scans to or any details of your code, you can click right here where it says edit code details. You can edit the name of your code as well as the scan destination. Make sure that you save your changes. You can also transfer the code to another account and another option to delete your code right here. Below that, you'll see that you have the option to get to templates in a different way as well as learn how to use it, which is another way to navigate to our help center where you'll find a bunch of helpful resources. Finally, you have two ways to view code engagement, which we call code analytics. So if you look along the right, you'll see the number of scans that you've had, that you received that day, the last seven days, the last month, as well as all time. And you can also navigate to code analytics to see a visualization of this data with more details. So this is a great way if you were comparing this code to another code that was used on marketing materials, you can see what time of day you're getting the most amount of codes, what day of the week you're getting the most amount of scans, as well as by day. If you look down here, you can actually change it so that you can measure by a certain timeline. And that covers this code management page. You now have the skills to track, edit, download, and print your code.